The United States Steel uh, designated this site back in the 1950s for an integrated steel mill. We had just come out of World War II. We were going into the Korean War, and one of the general ideas was to actually have a, a steel operating facility to meet that demand. In late 1991, there was a significant change in the steel industry. Most of the country was still doing well, but the steel industry was going through a consolidation. Everything was at a standstill. Everybody was looking for jobs. I don't care what kind of job it was. We decided that we were going to go into a redevelopment phase of the site. And one of the major reasons was is all the infrastructure that's here from the integrated steel mill. We want to use existing infrastructure, and we believe that as a brownfield site, it will have a lot of available resources around it. And there aren't too many industrial sites with what's on here, these attributes. Access to rail, access to the port, access to a well-educated workforce, because Bucks County has a long history in manufacturing at the steel site and other manufacturers, especially in lower Bucks County and those industrial communities down there, this was a good place for the state to focus some resources to try to attract manufacturers to that part of the state and that part of Bucks County where the jobs are needed. When you look at the, the businesses that all time energy, they want to be on a brownfield site. I think that's part of their makeup to actually go in and take something that is underutilized and bring it back to something functional. They have to really want to be here because it is a different process than going through a greenfield. I was on unemployment for about nine months and heard that this new company was coming from Spain. We have Gamesa Wind, a Spanish company. They are the second largest wind producer in the world. Uh, we have uh, AEPI Silicon, which produces the raw materials for the photovoltaic cells. We have Kinder Morgan. We have a, an Australian company called GMA Garnett that just came in this past year. We have a company that recycles heavy metals. I like the collaboration. I really enjoy working with everybody. I really enjoy seeing things come to be operational, to actually be, have something produced on the site. That's something that we've lost in this country. But right here at the KIPC, you see a lot of people doing it. They're happy they're doing it. They feel rewarded by the fact that every day they go home, they know they've contributed to producing a product. I know I'm making something safe, environmentally safe, and in the years to come, it will benefit our children. What's really exciting is that the, this is all being produced in the United States. It's all being produced right here in, in Bucks County on a brown field by local workers and, uh, and it's continued to grow and it's, it's part of the future of our energy in the United States. What inspires me to do this is to actually take something that is underutilized and turn it into something that is functional and benefiting the community. Brownfields are the new green opportunity in the development of this country.